Rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and repents of evil. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be for us. Amen. Amen. Let's read in unison from the Lorica attributed to St. Patrick. I bind, I bind and trust today, today the strong, strong name of the Trinity, Trinity by, by invocation, invocation of the saints, saints three in one and one in three. In three. I, I bind to this to me forever, forever by power of faith, Christ Christ's incarnation. incarnation. His, his baptism in the Jordan River, his, his death on cross for my salvation, his, his birth from, from the spiced tomb, tomb. his riding, riding on the heavenly way, way. his coming, coming from today, the day of doom, I bind on myself today. today. Christ, Christ, Christ be with me, Christ be with me, Christ be behind me, Christ be before me, Christ be beside me, Christ to win me. Christ, Christ comfort, comfort and restore me. Christ, Christ beneath me. Christ above me. me. Christ, Christ, Christ in heaven. Christ in danger. Christ, 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 Christ in hearts heart of all that love me. Christ in mouth and stranger. stranger. A reading from the first letter to the Christians in Thessalonica. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For your appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery, but just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel. Even so we speak, not to please mortals, mortals but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext for greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others, though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we are gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes, we have responsibility to <laughs> verse, Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing, Sing to, to the Lord, Lord. Bless it, his name. Proclaim, proclaim the good the news goodness of salvation, salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For he is, is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more he than, is more than you fear than than all God. God. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the, oh, majesty, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power, oh, the power and splendor of his, of his name. Name. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings, Bring offerings to come into his court. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. Lord is king. He has made the world so firm it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the fields be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the, all trees, the trees of the woods shout for joy before the before Lord when he, when he comes. comes. When he when comes, he comes to, to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Holy Father, Father, to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, is now, now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. 
The 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The word of the Lord. Thank, Thank you, Peter God. God. St. Patrick was born into a Christian family mm -hmm. somewhere on the northwest coast of Britain, about 390 AD. His grandfather had been a Christian priest and his father, Calpornius, was a deacon. Calpornius was an important official in the late Roman imperial government of Britain. It was not unusual in this period for such state officials to be in holy orders. When Patrick was about 16, he was captured by a band of Irish slave raiders. He was carried off to Ireland and forced to serve there as a shepherd. When he was about 21, he escaped and returned to Britain, where he was educated as a Christian. He tells us that he took holy orders as both a presbyter and a bishop, although no particular see is known as his at this time. A vision called him to return to Ireland. And this he did about the year 431. Tradition holds that Patrick landed not far from the place of his earlier captivity, near what is now known as Down Patrick. A down or dun is a fortified hill, the stronghold of a local Irish king. Patrick then began a remarkable process of missionary conversion throughout the country that continued in, until his death about 461. He made his appeal to the local kings and threw them to the tribes. Christianizing the old pagan religion as he went, Patrick erected Christian churches over sites already regarded as sacred. Had crosses carved on old druidic pillars and put sacred wells and springs under the protection of Christian saints. Many legends of Patrick's Irish travels possess substrata of truth especially those telling of his conversion of the three major Irish high kings. At Armagh, he is said to have established his principal church. And to this day, Armagh is regarded as the primatial see of all Ireland. Two works are attributed to Patrick, an autobiographical confession in which he tells us among other things that he was criticized by his contemporaries for a lack of learning. And a letter to Coroticus, a British chieftain the Lorica or St. Patrick's breastplate that we read parts of earlier is probably not really his, but it expresses his faith and zeal. St. Patrick, Bishop and Missionary to Ireland. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. <coughs> Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Ever and ever. Amen. The Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, in your providence, you chose your servant Patrick to be the apostle of the Irish people, to bring those who are wandering in darkness and error to the true light and knowledge of you. Grant us so to walk in that light that we may come at last to the light of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My siblings in Christ, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In our baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us honor these vows. Let us pray for our nation, 
for wise and just leaders and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for continued blessings on peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our we pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and to address the needs of our siblings throughout the world. For the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all nations, that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's merciful care, that we may dwell secure in God's peace. Grant to Joseph, our president, Andrew, our governor, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with a love of truth and righteousness. And make them mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the church throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and the poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that racism, sexism, and all other forms of discrimination will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for a reverence of all creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it that we will use its bountiful resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. we pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Jeff Karowski, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Karen Liu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, and Susan Dietz Massengill, Kat Bates, and the workers at Longview Medical Research Center, Norina Guerra, and those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, for those with physical or mental disabilities, that all may have access to proper health care, and that God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We also hold before you those who have requested our prayers. Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Nina, Shirley, Mark, Reynaldo, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Ilsa, Todd, Debbie, Carol, Nushi and Asad, Larry, Lucian, Elise, Bunny, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. 
hear, hear our, our, our prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear hear our our prayer. Prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all those who have died, oh, especially yeah. the millions worldwide who have died from the coronavirus and those who were slain recently in Atlanta. May they rest in peace. Mm -hmm. God of love, in your mercy. Hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. Watch over our country now and in the days ahead. Bring an end to the discord that threatens our democracy and make your ways known amongst all people. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.